This was question one of a GCSE Maths higher tier non-calculator exam. We want to work out 8.46 divided by 0 0.15. Now I'm going to start off by writing this as a fraction. So I have 8.46 on the numerator and 0 0.15 on the denominator. Now dividing by a decimal is much trickier than dividing by a integer. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is multiply the denominator of this fraction by 100 to turn it into an integer. That will turn it into 15. Now, in order to keep this fraction equivalent, I need to do exactly the same to the numerator. And so I'm going to multiply that by 100 as well. 8.46 multiplied by 100 turns it into 846. So now I'm working out 846 divided by 15. This is a far easier calculation for me to do. Now, I don't know my 15 times tables particularly well, and so I'm going to split this into three and five. Now I can divide 846 by three, I can get that answer, and then I can divide that answer by five rather than dividing by 15 all in one go. So starting off, I'm doing 846 divided by three. So how many whole groups of three go into eight? Well, three goes into eight twice with a remainder of two. I'm now doing how many whole groups of three go into 24? Well, that goes eight times with no remainder. And now I'm doing how many threes go into six? Well, that goes twice. So 846 divided by three is 282. But I need to divide this by five now because I actually wanted to divide by 15. So I'm now doing 282 divided by five. Starting off, I'm doing how many fives go into two? Well, no fives go into two. And so I'm going to carry the two over. I'm now doing how many fives go into 28? Well, five goes into 28 five times with a remainder of three. I've now got how many fives go into 32? Well, five goes into 32 six times. This gives us 30 though, so I've got a remainder of two. I have no more digits here in my bus stop. And so what we need to do is add a decimal point and a zero so that we've got somewhere to carry this remainder of two. I now need to bring the decimal point straight up above the bus stop. And now I'm doing how many times does five go into 20? Well, I can get four lots of five into 20. There's now no remainder. Now, because we had an equivalent fraction at the beginning, we know that if one of these calculations is equal to 56.4, so is the other one. And so 8.46 divided by 0 0.15 is equal to 56.4.